Now one of the things we can do is move the GPS so that its signal is not too good and now it's more inclined to move randomly about and we see that that direction is just what we want which is random. As soon as the thing is moving at any speed then it will be a consistent direction and we found that even as slow as perhaps 0.2 miles an hour uh, or knots whatever you like the direction is quite reliable. Right so that is now working the obvious question that's raised is did it lose that information that setting because it didn't seem any good right at the beginning that could be our problem Right, this video is to help our friends, including Jesse in the States of Global Sat, track down what the problem is we have with the BR355 GPS within the uh, robot boat. And uh, these two units seem to be okay. And we have one unit which uh, has been bad, but we don't get the impression that the information is held consistently for a long time. That's the settings of the GPS. Okay, we're just testing a BR355S4 GPS from Global Sat. That one was working fine a few days ago and uh, we're checking out the smooth heading problem. I'm using my GPS software from years ago. And what we're looking for is that the vector uh, which indicates the GPS based direction of movement. Uh, right, it's been switched on for a few minutes. Position is gradually drifting down as expected to the true position which is uh, near the window and uh, it's interesting that we still have what looks like a smooth heading even though it was working fine earlier. So now we're going to repeat the setup process. So the first thing we're going to do is apply the patch. And we click that box there, Chinese, and click patch, and then it will apply the firmware patch. This was provided to us by Jesse in the States and it's always worked. Yeah, success. The next step in our procedure is to apply surf demo and to switch to, oh first we've got to open the COM port so uh, action open data source so we then start getting data coming in and then action switch to surf protocol as it comes out as binary and the important navigation static navigation and we're going to switch that off Disable. So that should have had that effect. Now we're going to switch it back to our normal NMEA mode. So action, switch to NMEA protocol, and we only need one type of message, which is the GPRMC message, which is that one. So we switch all the others off and we set the speed, the bode rate, to 4800. And then we can say send. That should then be giving us the standard GPRMC NMEA message. And that's how we use the GPS. So now I'm going to fire up Good my this GPS annoying software. Sorry about this. We can switch the sound off in a moment. And it should settle down to actually reading the data. I'm not 
receiving any GPS data. We are near 22 Armitage Court. Right, we're getting data. Right, receiving GPS data. We are on right, it's zoomed down, so let's go straight in. We are 41 kilometres west of London. And can tell it to be quiet. We are 41 kilometres west of London. OK, I'll be quiet. Right, now, again, as we expect, it's moving randomly around. Our real position is, of course, just about there. Let's just clean that up a bit by zooming out and going back in. Right. Now, again, we'd expect it being near the window sill to take a bit of time to get to the position. But the difference is now we do actually get what was a, a random change in position there. Realising it's static, it's not moving around, it's not in a particularly good position for signals. So instead of its true position being there, it's a good few yards away. In fact, it says it's 12 metres away. The key thing is that for our application where we actually use the direction of movement data from the GPS, that static position should be random. Now one of the things we can do is move the GPS so that its signal is not too good and now it's more inclined to move randomly about and we see that that direction is just what we want which is random. As soon as the thing is moving at any speed then it will be a consistent direction and we found that even as slow as perhaps 0.2 miles an hour uh, or not, whatever you like. The direction is quite reliable. Right, so that is now working. The obvious question that's raised is, did it lose that information, that setting? Because it didn't seem any good right at the beginning. That could be our problem. Right, that's our boat 11 for the Atlantic and our concern at the moment is whether this GPS soldered into the boat system uh, has lost its settings. So I'll put that one which we've just been checking there and pick up again the one which I'd labelled as being bad out of my very neat filing system and there we are put away earlier this morning after testing saying bad GPS it's a BR355S4 and it says in brackets smoothed heading which is what we don't want right, I just put a bad GPS near the window running the same GPS software my old stuff and sure enough it's moving randomly around and the heading is tending to remain the same. So let's just obscure it and see whether it behaves as we expect. So rounds a bit. Moved it down here, away from a decent signal. Still moving around, but the heading is not really changing. So we've got this smooth heading problem. So let's repeat the setup process on it. So we're about to run the patch. Click the Chinese checkbox and click patch. It will then run the process of loading the firmware into the GPS. It says OK. So we've done that process. So we're now running surf demo and action uh, open data source. So we're now receiving data with the surf, dev surf demo program. Action switch to surf protocol. Navigation, static navigation. Disable. Should have done that. Now we say action 
switch to NMEA protocol, choose just the messages we want. which is only the GPRMC at 4800. All right, that should all be correct, so send. We should then be getting just that GPRMC data, so we can exit this. So the GPS should now be set up. So we're now waiting for the GPS to start tracking, since we reset it all. It's not unreasonable, it's lost all its information. Now the little LED here starts to flash when it's tracking and that's reflected in the data that comes in. I was starting to get positions that are closer to the right ones but we can tell by the data that it's not yet tracking. It's reflected in the LEDs not yet flashing and a V in the data in the GPRMC V which means not valid. So it's only probably a few minutes away from tracking and getting a cl closer to position. Not quite sure why we get any position at all that's moving and uh, everything says that the GPS is not yet tracking. Let's wait. Yes, I just checked the voltage, 5.2 volts supply to the GPS. Ah, it's just started flashing. Good. And sure enough, the data has got an A in it, which means it's tracking. So let's just see if it moves around, gets a bit closer to the right position. And of course the important thing is whether that heading vector is changing randomly. Not at the moment. Let's try moving the GPS so it's in not such a good position. See what we see there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, the heading is moving quite quickly. It's wandering around. The scale of the map may change soon. Ah, right, I just hit the X key to zoom in. So, let's see how he moves around. Shift that out of the way. Uh, it still looks like smoothed heading to me. His real position is here. In fact, I'll put the destination there. And he is moving randomly around, which you'd expect. It's not in a good position. Let's just put him up there a bit. Still tracking. LED is flashing. moving around but we've still got smooth heading but that was the one which we had that problem with earlier so uh, I'll leave it labelled and put it back in the cupboard one more test we got two units recently from our usual supplier did you go Mark? so we'll try the other one See what happens with that. All right, just plug this unit in. Not yet flashing, therefore not tracking. Got a position, probably based on what it was last doing. Right, now this unit now is tracking. And moving around, not far from our true position near the window. This is what the one or two units which a few days ago arrived, worked, and after applying the patch and setting them up. And this one is, yes, that looks good. It's moving randomly around, but very importantly, the heading information is also either in the direction it's moving or random if it's completely static. Certainly not smooth heading as far as we can tell. So that unit 
again was switched on, didn't seem to have lost its uh, settings, or at least not the setting of the um, smooth heading being switched off. We didn't have to go through the procedure to set it up again. One thing which possibly might be related is the fact that we lose the settings which say which messages we want. If we've switched off a unit for a few days, then we get all the uh, GPS and MEA messages, not the one we only need, which is the RMC one. Uh, that's the only one we need. And it's just possible the th problems are related. Supposing there was something like a capacitor inside the GPS holding the memory contents, uh, if that was all perfect, it might hold it for, I suppose, weeks or months. Um, however, if that isn't absolutely first class, then maybe it only holds it for a few days or even hours. Problem for Jesse to solve, perhaps. It's going to shift it into a worse position and see how that's reflected. Yeah. Yeah, great. Nice random movements of the direction, the GPS heading. So that unit looks good for the moment.